So what's good guys, J.A. Salute. As y'all see, I'm on vacation, but I wanted to do a quick update on the Knit Runners from my initial review, which was more of like a first impression. I've been now wearing them joints for like over a week. Um, the initial release was a US exclusive Yeezy Supply drop. So you know, bots ate those up. Unfortunately, a lot of us had to pay resale um, when the initial first drop went down. Resale prices were ridiculous, like going for like $600 and above for a shoe that retailed at 200 bucks. Now, that all the dust has settled. Um, the resale price is right around like 400, depending on your size. So if you ask me, a lot better than 600, right? But it still sucks that we gotta pay that resale. But it is what it is. So quick update on this. There is some pros and cons about this sneaker right here. Um, first and foremost, I'm in love with this colorway. You know, the sulfur color is amazing. I love the little tan contrast here around the upper. And just the shoe overall just looks really cool, really futuristic. Obviously, we've seen the season eight boots, which have a similar vibe to it, but you got the spiky, chunky sole. Now those joints right there, I'm feeling, but you know what I'm saying? These are cool, you know, definitely. So when it comes to the knit runner, there's some pros, some cons. The colorway is great. The design is awesome. Uh, in terms of the comfort, I feel like that's probably one of the number one questions the comfort, right? So when it comes to sizing, Easy Supply recommended to half size up. Unfortunately, I could only cop these, you know, in my true to size, it was the only pair early available. So what I did was took out the insole and they actually fit perfect with no insole with my true to size 10 and a half. So comfort is there. Um, when you compare them to the foam runner, it's really hard to compare them to the foam because like the foam just changed the game completely, but they are comfortable. It feels like, you know, it has the same type of foam, the EVA foam underneath this sole. So they are definitely very comfortable, just like the foam runner. Um, one design flaw that I would mention though, is that they're so flat. Like I wish they had like a higher, you know, design because I feel like they would be more appealing. Um, this design makes it very hard to style these wearing shorts. I feel like it's tough to pull it off. I know there's somebody out there, but I just can't pull it off. So you gotta have the right pants with these joints, right? Now, when it comes to um, the comfort, they are very comfortable, but I've been wearing these for over a week now. And there's one thing I've noticed about this shoe. Like when you do, if you're doing a lot of walking and you wear these joints for like, say like over three hours, they start to get uncomfortable. And it's not the way you would think because when you slide these in, the foam runner is like a lot more of a loose fit, but this has a more tighter fit, especially around the toe area. But that's not where it's uncomfortable at. It's actually, I experienced some uncomfort here on this heel area. Like when you wear these for a period of time, it feels like this area right here starts to dig into the back of your heel which makes it almost unwearable, you know, for longer periods of time. Now they do have some extra padding in the back, but just this little area on the heel, from my foot type, starts to dig into the back of my heel. Um, similar to um, how the Quantums feel, the lifestyle version. So that's just one of the flaws, but other than that, you know, these joints are great. You know, I've been getting a lot of wear about on these. You know, um, people definitely, it draws a lot of attention. So I love this shoe right here. Um, the only thing I hope for is that we get a worldwide release, you know, coming up soon because so many people missed out on being able to get this. And I'm excited to see what other colorways are coming. Um, if you guys take a look at that old warehouse picture that Kanye leaked on Twitter, you'll notice that next to the sulfur yellow pair, there is this like silver grayish pair. So could that be the next release? We'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think. Fuck all day, fuck all night. Call my bitches. Yeah, it's all good. It's all right. Fuck all day. Fuck all night. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up that in DMX. here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me act the fool. Made in the Bahamas, Ricardo. Made in the Bahamas. Everything I'm giving you, made in the Bahamas. That's how we roll in the Bahamas, man. We keep it real. 
Yes, sir. 400. Cousin Joe. Oh, yeah. In the building. Runs Airbnb, too. Airbnb coming to Bahamas. Need Airbnb. You want to Airbnb, too. Oh, shit. Somebody gonna make some babies tonight. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay, oh, yeah. Joe. Mm. Yeah, this got a nice little taste to it, nice man. Nice little taste to it. Okay. Yeah, I taste the coconut, you know. You be like that sister nigga the other day. You trying to get his girl for the fuck him in the car. I said nigga not in here, nigga. <laughs> so this gonna creep up on you, huh? Oh yeah, that nigga said 440 on to that shit. <laughs> Still a lot. Still a lot. That's how we caught this morning. See right here? It's still alive right here. Uh -huh. Little man. Still alive. Seven Cooper. Seven Cooper. That's she got this morning. Bobby, what's going on, man? I see a couple of other things. I can let you out right now. Cutting up that good fresh conk. Hey, what you call that though? Piston. Uncle? Piston. Piston. That's what I've been thinking. Eat one with me. You see that shit there all, all night long? Turn up that shit. All night long. See ya? See ya? Look here. How was it, man? Good? Good. Yeah, they chicken noodles. Good. Tastes like chicken. Welcome to the one in the baddest hood on the island. Go that black. He loved this hood right here. <laughs> Oh, they're back always in this hood right here. Ross always in this hood. DJ Kelly always in this hood. Welcome to Camp Road. We got a Jamaican Bahamian gang called the Get Down, Lay Down. We got a high tech gang called the Mad Ass. Two places right here have no running water and no electricity. The cook and clean and bed outside. This right here is the water pump. Where do you get the water from over here? If the water bill is $200 to turn your water off. This right here, now these niggas ain't no good. They built a house in a house. How that shit supposed to work? They built a house in a house. This right here is two hundred dollars a week. It's a two bed. It's a one bedroom efficiency. Two hundred dollars a week over here. When you open the door, the bed is right there. So you bang too long, everybody hear you banging. Bang, 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 bang. Hold on, nigga. We don't call nine one one. Right, you got original on the bottom, and you got a little banana on the top. Here you got it. I think I got banana at home. I don't get fucked up now. Banana on top. Let me get a bullsy ass gallon. All the cakes are good for a year, folks. No refrigeration. All cruise ship and air for the crew. No restrictions, no sales. Try some rum cake. No duties, man. No duties at all. You got peanut butter, mm. coconut, pineapple, banana, cinnamon. What flavor is this one? You have banana, banana. on top and you have original on the bottom. Oh, this banana hitting. Is that raisins or peanuts? Neither. It's pecans. Oh. Raisins, raisins, we don't do raisins. Peanuts are cheap and nasty. Pecans are good quality nuts. Mm. We're going to try some fresh conk. So this the fish fry. You know, we get you some good local food. You know. How you guys Thank you.
fish. Whoa. All on no problems with y'all boys, man. Y'all look real serious. So what y'all want, man? Little Michael Kors. That's your thing. Little Gucci. Might have to grab me a Rolex. Psych. 